So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start off just a little bit different today. Uh, find yourself in a comfortable seat. And let's just start with uh, a few moments of noticing our breath. You don't need to change it or even really think about it. Just feel it. Breathe in and know that you're breathing in. Breathe out and know that you're breathing out. Look around your immediate environment and gently notice something that pleases you. Notice the shape, the outline, the areas of light and shadow, and how they blend. Notice the textures of the surface, rough, smooth, grainy, polished. Notice the range of colors. Hold your attention on this pleasing object and consider how wonderful, how beautiful, or how useful it is. Can you feel grateful that you get to see this, whatever it is? Can you appreciate how much effort must have gone into this thing in order for it to get to you? Someone conceived of the need and many people worked on the design. Care went into the packaging to deliver the item to you safely. Notice what you feel when you let yourself be grateful for all that talent that went into making your life a little easier, a little more beautiful. Notice the improved feeling and be appreciative. And can you be appreciative of that way? So just taking another breath and feeling into the body. What does that appreciation feel like? Tapping into the world of touch and texture. Perhaps you have something around you, a pet that you can cuddle with or some lovely material with a texture that feels warm to the touch and soft. Maybe it's just the clothing you're wearing. Appreciate the feeling. Appreciate that you can feel Taking a moment to take some deep breaths to appreciate our body, appreciate breathing. This reaction that brings us to life makes the heart beat. Appreciation for nature, for air and breath the water, the lakes and rivers, rain, our body, the water that moves through it, the blood. Appreciation for earth, the earth that we walk on, the mountains, 
the trees that give us oxygen and plants. Appreciation for fire, the fire that is the combustion of our heart, fire that creates warmth and energy and transformation and light, the big fireball in the sky that brings us light. Again, tapping into the breath, breathing in and know that you're breathing in all of these elements. Having appreciation for the cycles, the cycles of our breath, the inhale, the exhale, the cycles of our day and night. Cycles of birth and life and death and rebirth. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Seed, plant, fruit, harvest, seed. Another moment or two, just coming back to the simplicity of our breath, feeling the gratitude, appreciation of our body, our breath, this complex mind that manages it all. And when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes, come back into the room and into the shared space. Super quick check-in. Three words. Um, how were you feeling when you arrived? How are you feeling right now? seven or eight minutes later. And um, what is something that you are grateful for in this moment? Thank you, everybody. Um, so today's topic or focus is the little joys in life. And that translates to gratitude and appreciation. Uh, I want to read a quote. I don't think I've read it last week because I I think I heard it after our session. Joy is everything that is happening right now, minus our opinion of it. Charlotte Joko Bank, who's an American Zen teacher. Joy is everything that is happening right now, minus our opinion of it. And so we have the, uh, Albert Einstein says, there are only two ways to live your life. One is through nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. And so it's really important to look at those small moments in life that we can find joy and appreciation and gratitude and cultivate them. And part of this, you know, we spend time Going into our breath, we spend time being with what is, which is really mindfulness and noticing our relationship to that which is unfolding. So do we take things for granted? Do we look at um, different, uh, what's wrong with the world? Or do we notice what's right, what we're grateful for, what we like? It is impossible for us to focus on gratitude and lack at the same time. Um, we can oscillate between them, but it's impossible to focus on gratitude and appreciation and lack 
or fear or judgment. So we want to look at cultivating appreciation. Appreciation is a state that is open and allowing. It goes with that play from last week um, to be in a relaxed, open flow state. It doesn't matter what you're grateful for, just that you're grateful. The practice we'll do is, um, you know, focusing on gratitude and appreciation. Again, just to build the vibe, um, Nancy, I see that you wrote a note. How about joy and sadness? Um, I, again, I think in terms of like focusing on them, we can focus on one or the other. They can coexist, but where our focus is, um, and joy, we can have joy in sadness, um, or uh, the the bittersweet. Uh, so I don't know that there's there's not really a whole lot I have to say about gratitude and appreciation. I really want to focus on this practice. So today's workout um, is going to be a rampage of appreciation. Um, <clears throat> each one of us is going to get, excuse me, um, we're going to get about 30 seconds, which might seem like a long time to you or might seem like nothing. But to just give appreciation, uh, I call them a rampage because you just keep going and going and going. Uh, so things to think about. I am grateful for, uh, I'm appreciating right now. Uh, I appreciate um, whatever you choose as we go through this exercise. If you can't think of anything, just continue to say the thing you appreciate. If you appreciate the sun and that's all you can think of, for 30 seconds, say, I appreciate the sun. I appreciate the sun. I appreciate the sun. If something else pops in, go ahead and appreciate that. So I will go first and we're we're going to tag and it's going to be, I will ring the bell each time. Um, once I ring the bell, go ahead and um, tag the next person. So... Um, and I will start just to give an example. Um, okay, my 30 seconds. Uh, I appreciate the sun. I appreciate the warmth. I appreciate the plants. I appreciate nature and how it grows and changes every day. I appreciate that nature gives me cycles and um, reminds me that things come and go. I appreciate friends who go for walks. I appreciate friends that uh, confide in me. I appreciate my cat that depends on me and gives me joy. As my 30 seconds. I appreciate uh, I am grateful for I appreciate that. 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 I So I hope you enjoyed this little workout. Um, I invite you to try this at home this week. Um, you can do appreciations of Rampage for a while, like a minute, two minutes, five minutes. There are people on this call that I have done Rampages of Appreciation with back and forth. And it is just lovely to sink into that energy. And again, it doesn't matter what you're appreciating or what you're grateful for. It's about cultivating this energy. Um, I used to do it more in Philly, not as much up here, but walks of appreciation. Just go out for a walk. And like in Philly, I made sure that every block, there was something I appreciated. 
Um, it's, you know, so maybe if you're in the country in between every telephone pole, find something to appreciate. Um, of course, a gratitude journal is a wonderful practice to just write down three to five things every day that you're grateful for or you're appreciating. Um, and actively saying thank you to people, ap actively saying, remembering to say, you know, I've really appreciated this time. I really appreciate being with you. Thank you for doing that little thing. And together, you know, it creates this string of gratitude and of appreciation. It opens us up for the space for joy, the being with life as it is without our opinions, because we're not judging if we're focusing on the gratitude. Hmm. Yeah, that feels really good. Uh, we are at 630. So I want to say that I am grateful and appreciate all of you being here and the energy that we uh, bring together. And I hope that we inspire each other to continue to practice joy and gratitude and appreciation. Namaste. And I will see you all next week. Bye.